What's going on, everybody? Uh, this is a friend of the show, Antonio Hernandez. He's the creator of Garnish, the web series. Now, you guys, if you do your homework, you can listen to the radio show and podcast where I actually talked with Antonio more in depth about this show. Um, but this is a great web series. Antonio, what's up, man? Welcome to DC WebFest Red Carpet. Yeah, thank you for having me. I was so you know happy to be here and saw some really great films. Yeah, most definitely. All right, so talk a little bit about Garnish, and uh, for those who might not know, what's uh, the web series all about? So basically, Garnish is an ongoing documentary series that highlights uh, creatives, causes, and conversations happening in and around DC and Baltimore. Um, so 12 episodes that I did last year between May and December are all available online. Um, 2017's episodes, I'm premiering all offline at different events, and those will be available publicly online um, later in the year. Okay, nice. So what has the public reception been so far as you're highlighting, you know, the, the surrounding area? Um, it's been good, you know, it's, it's a really good variety of topics, themes, and people. I've interviewed over 70 people, I think, in total, wow. across all 14 episodes from uh, musicians, DJs, visual artists, filmmakers, a magician, pro wrestlers, um, but they're all connected because they're all part of this uh, this community. So. so talk a little bit about the genesis of this project. Like, what made you want to create this? Um, I've always uh, just wanted to have my own documentary series. Um, last year, I was just... It's just, it didn't, I didn't expect it to be an entire series. I just like, I'm going to do, I want to get back into filmmaking. A friend of mine had an event. Um, he asked, you know, people to cover it. I was like, well, I can come cover it, do a short one. My first one, I think, was like three minutes long, if that. And I just interviewed him. Basically, a skeleton, the framework that became what I use now for Garnish, or at least the, the early elements, um, happened with that first episode, just like an event coverage. Um, you know, it was like a hybrid news documentary kind of thing, but it's all original footage. It's sometimes original music. Nice. And then I just like, hey, it's like, it started building momentum and people that I would have interviewed, you know, for text and everything, I was like, well, I might as well just keep this going and then, you know, I can do things like and how I can hold my own events and screenings and I can share it with people. And then, you know, people, a lot of people um, are interviewed for the first time or, you know, they don't get interviewed that much or they, it'll be their first interview on camera mm -hmm. so you know a lot of people are really excited to be interviewed in kind of like their territory I go to like their party I go to their event I go to you know where they are you know I just everything that I shoot with our garnish it fits in the backpack you know including my laptop so <laughs> I'm with two DSLRs um, a mic bro mic some lenses and my SD cards and batteries and I can just shoot and edit wherever. See, man, what I'm hearing coming from you is hunger and humility. I love it, man. You put those <laughs> two together. All right, so how can people find the web series online? What's the web website, social media, all that good stuff? So um, the website is watchgarnish.com. You can see all the episodes and everything around Garnish. Um, you can also uh, follow Watch Garnish on Twitter. Um, so I just created that because I realized, like, you know, this is a thing and I've accepted that this is a thing I'm going to be doing. Yeah. So um, I'm going to be posting clips, trailers. I'm actually going to start posting a lot more. I wouldn't didn't make the episode. So the episodes are very short. There may be like a tenth, um, maybe maybe less than that. What actually goes to the episode? But there's so much good stuff from interviews and good tidbits that just don't make it just because of time and just you know just for the sake of just creating something that's you know that's easy digestible. So right. Um, you know, different like interview clips that didn't make the episodes will be there. Um, different stuff and tidbits from the new you know the new episodes will be up on Twitter um, and then postings about my events will be on that and you can also just follow me um, at electric llama on Instagram and then at electric underscore llama on Twitter all right my man Antonio Hernandez Appreciate thanks for talking with me man thanks for having me man. all right <laughs>